Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Coach's Spotlight. I'm with the men's soccer head coach, Carl Reese. And Carl, it's been a, it's been a whirlwind, but it's been a good whirlwind. And uh, you had two big wins this weekend over um, Siena and Maris. Can you describe those wins for us? Sure. Yeah, it's, uh, it's again, another satisfying weekend, uh, performance-wise, as well as, as well as the, you know, obviously the, the two wins on the road against... Uh, you know, teams that are towards the top end of the table uh, when we played them. So, yeah, very pleased. Again, just we keep the momentum going. We're training well week in, week out, and it's and it's paying off for us. Yeah. So after an 0-4 start, you guys have now <laughs> just roared into the second half of the season, 6-0-1, and you have the big game, probably the game of the year in the MAC Conference thus far against the 19th-ranked Iona Gales at home. What do we have to expect from the Gales? The Gales are a, you know, obviously a very effective team, particularly in attack. They're a technical team. You're going to see a lot of short passes. They've got they've got some special players. They're like, uh, you know, they're like a poor man's Barcelona, is is how I describe them to the lads. You know, they're easy on the eye. Um, you know, we got a lot of respect that they're, they're 19th in the in the country now. They were 16th last week, and they've been in the top 25 essentially for, you know, 80% of the season. So. Well, how excited are you as you as a coach and the team in general to get this crack at, you know, really, really um, just cementing yourself as, you know, the top dog in the MAC? Yeah, we're up for it. You know, as we've talked about all through the season, our guys have all, you know, they don't have a problem getting up for games or for training. And we're really enjoying ourselves. I think, you know, winning makes everything better, as we've said. And, um, you know, this is the top two in the league. So we'll see, you know, and then, then we've got other games down the road. But, yeah, we're certainly up for this one. Yeah, and to get a win against, as you call it, the poor man's Barcelona, what do you guys have to do technically to, and I guess just technically and just athletic-wise to win this game? Right. We've got to play to our strengths, you know. Uh, we'll, we will have a height uh, advantage on any kind of set pieces. I think athletically, you know, in terms of uh, the physical parameters of our team, we're going we're gonna to have an advantage there. The fact that we're at home and potentially, you know, in front of a decent crowd will give us a, give us a little bit of an advantage. And, um, you know, we'll, we've just got to play to our strengths. I think, you know, I think a, a big – the backdrop is going to come down is whether our defensive, our collecting, collective defending uh, can snuff out their collective attacking. That's that's going to be the matchup, I think. Yeah, and what can we expect out of the uh, – out of you know, right now, Jordan Harris and Jack Burge are just, just on fire. What can we expect out of the offensive attack, and who needs to step up for this uh, for to get, to get a win? Um, you know, it could be anybody. You know, it's uh, fair enough. It's Jordan and, and and Jack, but you know, we had Adam got the goal. You know, Adam Cowan got the goal. You know, from the left back position up at Siena. Um, you know, the, there are the kind of you know when Dan Shaw gets a goal. You know, he chimes in, chips in with a goal. Uh, you know, way at Marist. Uh, there's a lot of guys that are kind of under the radar, even guys that don't get on to the starting 11, I think, need to be recognized. You know, the Sean Fahey's, uh, you know, Tim West has been in and out of the team, uh, Dan Sullivan, these guys who are putting in quality training sessions week in, week out, week out which is benefit, benefits in the team. So we, we're seeing their hard work come to fruition when we're winning these tough games on the road. And finally, what is going to be the biggest challenge you guys are facing heading into this game? Um, the biggest challenge, you know, well, obviously it's Iona are the biggest challenge. They've been the, uh, they've been the, the cream of the crop for the majority of the season. You know, we'll be treating them with respect, but, uh, you know, we'll be, we're certainly very up for this game. Certainly. Thanks a lot, coach. Pleasure to talk to you as always and, and best of luck on Saturday. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thanks guys. As always.